running for president of the United States because I believe that the American dream that we share is in deep trouble. And we need to create an economy that actually works again for all of our people. So I'm running in order to make my country a better place. And I'm running in order to give my kids and all of our kids a better future. And uh, other candidates in this race have come to the conclusion that they have that combination of, of experience and vision to be able to do this. And so now the way it works is now that we've made our, our minds, mm -hmm. now the public gets to decide. And that's the way it's supposed to work. Well, it sounds like you are uh, ready for Hillary. Um, I do want to ask, though, uh, something specific to the Hispanic electorate. Uh, and I'm going to, this is a circuitous way to get to it, but bear with me. So as you know, uh, over the last decade, some 52% of the overall population growth of this nation came from the Hispanic community. Uh, today, one in six uh, people breathing in this country is of Hispanic descent. Uh, right now, as, as, we, as we're speaking, one in four children in grade school is of Hispanic descent. So as I like to say, if you're not related to a Latino, like right, right, right at this moment, give us about 15 minutes and we'll get around to you as well. You know. But seriously, seriously, every 30 seconds, uh, a Hispanic turns 18 in this country and becomes an eligible voter. That's a potential 52,000 brand new minted voters every month. And that is going to be the case for the next 21 years, they're telling us. Now in 2012, uh, Governor Romney uh, failed to garner a substantial portion of the Hispanic vote, uh, while concurrently President Obama garnered 72% of that vote. So the question is, how and what will you do to inform, to mobilize, and to attract America's virgin Hispanic vote? Well, let me say that, that I believe that our, one of the greatest strengths we have as a nation is our diversity. And I believe that in every generation, our country is made <clears throat> is made better and made stronger by the arrival of new Americans. And, uh, and so that's a part of my DNA. That's a part of my makeup. I always kept a sign from the 1880s on my desk as mayor and as governor that read, no Irish need apply. Uh, and so I, I grew up in a household where we were all very keenly aware that we were once strangers in a strange land. But the, great, uh, the greatness of America is that in this land of opportunity, wherever you come from and wherever you start, you're able to get ahead. And because of your hard work and your commitment and your love of family, you can give your children and grandchildren a better future. Uh, I think that is the, the goodness that we need to speak to as candidates about where our country's going. Uh, there are some, because we've had this uh, rather uh, prolonged and brutal economy now, because we are in a situation where 70% of us are earning the same or less than we were 12 years ago. It creates an atmosphere that is uh, ripe for scapegoating of the latest arrivals. It's not the first time we've gone through that as a country. But the longer arc of our history says that we're all in this together and that we need to help each other if we're going to succeed. So that's the sort of campaign I intend to articulate. That, and, and that is not limited to, that is not a message that I will somehow just rifle shoot into you know, one uh, audience or to Latino audiences. I mean, I think we need to speak to immigration reform as a national economic <coughs> priority, as a national security priority, not for this group or for that group, but for us, for our country. And that's the kind of campaign I'm going to run. Well, I think we agree on that.